Alright friends, a few minutes ago I showed you that I wanted to create a fan knob and here I am building it. So I told you that it was 28 on a side for the diameter. So there's my 28 and my 28 and press enter. And then that was 11.5 millimeters thick. I want it to be nice and round so I'm going to change it to 60 sides and I do want a bevel of one and uh, I'm going to make it two segments I'm actually going to make that a bevel of two I like that that's going to be a great size button uh, now I want to cut out the insides of it so I'm going to just bring in a hole and I want to leave uh, two millimeters thick there's my hole tool so remember it was 28 all the way around so I'm gonna take away I'm gonna leave two millimeters on each side and go 24 by 24 uh, then when I group those or align those I'm sorry they will be aligned and I'm gonna raise that up and make it two millimeters up as well lower that down so it doesn't look all goofy I'm gonna go 15 I'm gonna go 11 and then I'm going to group that so my knob is starting to sh take shape. Ooh, it helps if you uh, center things. Let's do a line, center, center. Did good on the vertical, just not on that one. Now when I group it and look from above, that looks much better. Uh, the only thing, yeah, I could do that more round by making 60 sides, but it's the inside of the button, so who really cares? All right, so there is my grouped knob, and now I'm going to do the uh, 10 millimeter post. Remember, it is 15 high, uh, but I am going to raise it up one millimeter so that it joins inside here, and that means I only need to make it 14 high to make it match. I'm going to grab all that, and I'm going to align it center and center. my knob is already taking shape I'm gonna use a real cool trick to do uh, control D and duplicate that and then I'm gonna raise up the duplicated piece make it a hole I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna just type the numbers by hitting the corners remember the inside needs to be six and I'm gonna do 6.3 because I found that with my printer if I give it uh, 0.3 of leeway I end up being more successful and then I'm just gonna grab those two shapes and I want to align them centered and centered and then I want that to be uh, 12 high and then I'm gonna push it down flat so it's still two millimeters above the bottom I'm gonna group those two parts and then I just want to make sure that that is uh, centered as well and they still are, so now I'm going to group that whole thing. And then remember, half of this has a flat side on it. So I'm going to do that flat side by just bringing in the round roof. And I'm going to stand it up. And then I'm going to stick it in and just move it to the size that I feel is right remember I said it was only two millimeters ish and now I feel like I've got my flat edge in there that it needed I'm gonna back it off uh, 0.5 millimeters so I'm gonna go 1.5 and just see how well that turns out group that and then ha double check underneath to make sure that I had ducks in a row and I did not I had that too long now I'm happy group that looks much more nice and then there was a cutout and I just looked at the original and it is close to this angle it's not quite straight it's a little bit off of it so I'm gonna make that cutout so that you can tell uh, where on and off is and I'm gonna make that with a rectangle I'm gonna use alt shift to shrink this down to two millimeters and uh, 
I gotta zoom in to get that kind of precision once again alt shift sh shrinks everything at once so there's my two millimeter bar I'm gonna make it a hole and like I said it is close to being in line with um, this flat thing but it was a few degrees off so I'm just gonna adjust I'm gonna go 10 degrees off and then I can't go two millimeters thicker to cut all the way through so I'm gonna make it a one millimeter cutout alright so let's do control D to bring that stick out and let's rotate it back 10 degrees so that it's straight stand it up to 90 degrees move it over here so that it's gonna cut out I'm gonna raise it up to the correct height and then I'm gonna use the point one millimeter to nudge it over till I'm happy and then I also have to rotate it a few degrees to get it right I'm gonna rotate it by hand and I think that is gonna be just awesome so now I'm gonna group it all and I have almost instantly created a replacement button for my fan at this point I'm gonna export it the selected shape and I'm gonna save it to my 3D modeling folder so I can test it out I am gonna label it fan knob Tinkercad and then you can compare the effort to build it in Tinkercad to the effort it takes to build it in my SketchUp thanks for watching please subscribe